Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And today we are going to build a tinker smeltery because I need to get some ore doubling. I don't know why I keep trying to jump on this, I forget you can't jump over it. But we need to do some ore doubling and so then I can make some tinker's tools, some proper tinker's tools. So, in the last episode, we got grout in order to make the Tinker's, tinkers stuff. And in this episode, well, I'm going to start cooking up some of the grout. I went collecting furnaces around the village. In here, it's getting a bit cramped. I think we need to start thinking about going someplace else. We had to collect, if I remember correctly, gravel, sand, and clay. Let me see what recipes do they have, because they have a few recipes as far as I remember. Grout. And you can either use blocks of clay or you can use clay balls. I, I don't think it's really nice, I think they both come out to the same thing. So we'll do that. Let's get some sand and we can cook up some glass because we need glass. Okay, I have gotten the sand, not the sand, yeah, I've got the sand to, I've smelted up the glass. Also, behind my house, there was some bits of, um, marble sticking out the ground. I went and collected some of the sand from around it and realised it wasn't just bits of marble sticking out the ground, it's an actual astral sorcery temple, and one of the big ones, which is good, because we'll need that later on when we get into astral sorcery. I've got everything now I need to make my Tinker's smeltery. Out here is where I'm going to build my house. So I've already dug out a 3x3 area to put the base of the smeltery. And um, so let's go through and see what the you need to complete the quest. So for the smeltery we need a smeltery controller, we need a seared tank, we need two drains, two faucets, a casting table, casting basin, and 32 seared bricks. Okay, I think we should have enough for that. Let's make the 32. That's 16 seared bricks. Let's leave that for now, that's half of what we need. We need a controller. We need a drain. We needed two drains, didn't we? If I remember correctly. Controller, two drains. We need two drains. We need a seared tank, which is the circle, and the glass in the middle. We needed two faucets because you have two seared tanks. You needed a casting table, around like that. You need a casting basin, which is the table upside down. And that's only enough for four bricks, which is a bit random. Wrong thing. Right, so we need some more bricks. Let's make sure we have everything else. Yep. So we need to make some more grout. Right, so I've just finished smelting up the bricks and we've completed that quest. And we get 32 more seared bricks, which is fine. Because I like, I like big smelteries, I don't know why. Okay, so after that we need to make a tool forge, hammerhead cast, large plate, tough tool rod. Okay, let's set up the smeltery first of all, because before we do that, we need to set it up. So you put three, a three by three, I like to put it in the ground, you can put it on top of the ground if you really want to. And move sheep, I'm recording. Two drains. Tank controller, 
casting basin, casting table, and two faucets. Okay, so to have a basic smeltery, you don't have to have it three uh, three by three. I think the smallest you can have is a two by two, or maybe even just uh, a one square, I'm not sure. But I usually don't put them that small because I find it's not really worth it. Okay, we need the controller, which goes here. I like to put the seared tank next to it. And then on one side, I like to put my two drains, but I think what I'll do, I'll put them on the next level. So then I don't have to dig down into the ground for anything. So you put, oh, wrong thing. There you go. So you put them down in a ring like that on the edges. And then once you see the front of the smeltery um, light up like that, there's nothing in it, but it just shows you that it's a valid smeltery. So then if you wanted to and you had lava in your seared tank, you could actually smelt things. But I wouldn't be able to um, get it in and out, which is why I need the drains. So let's see, let's put it on this side. This side is more accessible. Put one here, one here. Put the casting basin here, put the casting table here. And then you put your two faucets on as well over the drains. And then you just build up your smeltery. And of course, if I was smart, I'd have a building wand and I'd just, you know, poke the wand at it and get it to build it up a little bit higher. But I wasn't thinking about that. I've got 23. That's an odd number. One, two. Oh, I have to take these torches off my offhand. Uh, okay, it's because I was on it. That's why. I think that's high enough. We've got 11 left. Three. Yeah, we need one more to make 12. But there is also a very cool trick for making more seared bricks. Because if you have a, if you're in a, in a world where there's not that much, you can't, you can't really get gravel or sand or, you know, you can't get grout for whatever reason, you can put in cobble to create seared bricks and that can give you the extra brick so let me i can show that to you but i need to get some lava so let me go and get lava take out the tank actually i think what i might do is make an extra tank i know i don't have the bricks do i because i smelted them all up and you can't turn them back. All right, never mind. Where is, did I not just take out the tank? No, I took out the brick. I didn't take out the tank. I don't know what I was thinking. Right, so let me go and take the tank, go find some lava, and I'll be back in a second. Right, so my smeltery has its seared tank. I think at some point I will make a larger seared tank so then I can I can smelt more things. But basically, when you want to what the reason why I wanted to get my smeltery up and running is because it all doubles, which is why I held off on um smelting the iron that I had. So you you right click on the smeltery controller and you get this GUI and you take the ore that you want melted it only takes it one at a time and you put it in the smeltery if it can't smelt for whatever reason here the indicator where it shows you it's melting it will be grayed out and
and it will melt it will collect into the middle of the smeltery and then you can take it out via the um, the casting basin or the casting table and right now well we have gold back in the house so I can use that to make um, a cast so that I can make ingots but if I didn't have any gold to make a cast I will take them out via the casting basin which gives you blocks of a particular ore so let's see what else we can do okay we need to make the tool forge which we can't do yet because we don't have enough iron we need a hammerhead cast a large plate cast and a tough tool rod and that is to make the tinker's hammer which is that actually the tinker's hammer is the reason I got into modded because I saw somebody streaming one day they were doing modded for the first time and they had a tinker's hammer and the tinker's hammer will clear in a 9 by 9 area and as soon as I saw that I said I want to learn how to play modded <laughs> never mind vanilla minecraft I want to play modded and that's how I got into modded from a tinker's hammer shut the door let me see we need a bit of clay so we can make the ingot cast you can make casts out of gold or aluminium brass or you can make them out of clay but that is a single use thing and I really don't want to do that what am I looking for there's the rest of my iron I have gold that's what I was looking for I have exactly two pieces of gold which means I need to go mining I have to remember that hole is there one of these days I'm going to jump over the pumpkin and just go plummeting into that hole and also I want there's a tinker's tool that I want to make because we don't need a sword because you know there's no mobs or anything but there's one that I really want to make because it's fun okay so let's melt the gold to get oh I should have smelted the brick oh I didn't think about that all right let's make yet another furnace put that out here and I've only got charcoal never mind where's my piece of clay so I can get a brick and with the brick we can make the ingot cast let's check and make sure that our gold has smelted our gold has smelted and it's on top if you left click on it it will bring it down to the bottom so that's what's going to come out first how much did it say oh two ingots okay if you hover over the liquid that's in there it will tell you how many ingots or blocks or nuggets are in there which can be very helpful if you're trying to fill up a casting basin because if you if, if you have a casting basin and it's not full it will just sit there until you fill it up and then it will take out then you can take out the block of whatever you have in there so to make your ingot cast you take a ingot shaped um, item I usually use a clay brick because it's the cheapest because it will consume it so I don't use anything expensive like an actual ingot or anything like that and you've brought the gold down to the bottom of the smeltery you right click on the faucet and it will pour out your ingot and like I said it's it's eaten up the ingot cast it's melted not the ingot cast the ingot that was in the middle but now we have an ingot cast so if I click on it then the iron would pour out and it will solidify into an ingot of iron and uh, you can you can stand there all day and do it or you can make a redstone clock but I don't think I have enough redstone I've got three blocks and four ingots but we don't have I don't think I have enough redstone to make a redstone clock but as soon as I can I will actually the redstone clock is extra utilities I don't even know if that's in here I hope it is okay we will go easy on the ingots 
until I've got all of the blocks casted because like I said if it's not full it will it will not solidify right, let's see we have one block and four ringots left okay That's the last ingot. And then this should be the last block. Yep, it's going out. Good, good. Really? Yeah, we'll have to put an ingot back in to smelt it up and then because if you hold it over, you'll see that there's a little there's a little bit left. So it's about a block's worth. Sometimes you have to estimate it. And that's what I was trying to avoid. But we have all doubled because I think we put in 16, 16 iron ore. And that should give us 32 we put in 16 or 8 I can't remember I think it was 16 or 15 but we have more right that's one ingot now that's going to solidify so the cast chest that we had to make um, as part of I think the Tinker and Away quest you can store the ingot casts in there right so Thirty two, yes it was sixteen. I was correct. So now we have just doubled our rolls. Okay, we're not doing that right now. Earlier I completed the quest, I'm not even sure how I oh, farming and cooking. Basic seeds. I broke a couple of tumbleweeds and I got a mel melon seeds and pumpkin seeds out of it. So that completed it. And that's 64 seeds. Pillage and plunder. Find a village or two and borrow some of their crops. We want one one corn, one carrot, one beetroot and one potato. I think we can do that. Yeah, but the corn's very good. The ro When you roast it, it's very good for hunger saturation. And also... Um, Cooked apples. Well, there's nothing in here. Let's see what else they have. Wow, this is so empty. Well, we, we do have the, the desert village as well. Okay, there's a couple of potatoes. I didn't want those. Do we have any corn in this village? I don't think so. We might have to go across to the other village. There's more stuff over here. Oh, we have beetroot and stuff. There's beetroot. I think we'll have to go over to the other village. I find that if you take off, if you turn the clouds off, if you go into, let's see, escape, options, video settings, uh, where is it, clouds, if you turn them off, then it's easier to find slime islands, because I know one of the quests is to get slime boots. Oh, I think we can do that as well. Uh, tinkering away. Oh, they want slime, fast travel. Well, slime boots are awesome. They go with the, with the slime there. Because with slime boots, you can just jump off anywhere. And you'll just bounce. And it's absolutely awesome. 
Right, these are Pam's gardens. And if you shift click them, it will retrieve them whole. If you just break them, it will break up into whatever they're made up of. Okay, so I made it to the village, but the corn is not mature yet. 45%, which is a real pain. Splat. Ouch. We got some leather though. Yeah, let's see. What can we get rid of? Oh, that was the Brussels sprout was the other thing. What can we get rid of? Oak sapling. And a bone. We could always do it some bones. Um, hold shift to open. Right. So while we're waiting here for the corn to, to, um, to grow, I suddenly realised We've got two different slime islands, plus a cloud that you can get an inventory pet. So I thought we could kill two birds with one stone. And I'm going to, I've got a couple of stacks of dirt. That should be enough. And I want a nerd pole up there. Is that a wheel? That's some kind of gear, that's awesome. I didn't really realize what that was. All right, so we're gonna nerd, nerd pole up there and see what we can find. Okay, we're on a slime island. Well, what we first need to do is get some slimy grass. Now these slime blocks, they're bouncy. So we need those. On the slime blocks, you can get slime balls instead of having to kill slime. And the slimy dirt, we need that to grow the saplings from the tree. There's always a blue slimy tree which I think you need a blue slimy, yes, you need the blue slimy sapling. That is awesome. <coughs> oh, we just completed two quests as well. So we don't need to go to the other island but I do want to see what's on that cloud. Green slime block. Oh, I should have really bought up. Where was that cloud? Is that one there? It's a bit high up though. There was an... I don't know what they are. They're not clouds. Where's the other island? Has it disappeared? It can't have disappeared. That's a bit random. I don't know where the island's gone. There is the cloud with the cloud pet. Oh, there's the other island. That's because we're so high up. Okay. I really want to make a pair of slime boots because I think we have enough. Because we can make some purple slime boots. I really want to make a pair. Okay. I am going to cheat in a crafting table. Escape. Open to lamb. Allow cheats on. Start land world. Okay. All I want is a crafting table. Uh, cheat mode. Done. And that is the only thing we're getting. Because I should have bought one up. And it only occurred to me afterwards. And when we're finished with it, we will throw it away. 
Okay, boots, you need two blocks and two slime. Yes. Alright, let's bring that back up. Open up. Hold shift to open. Click to delete. Turn off cheat mode. And uh, options. Can you turn off land once you've opened it? I guess not. Alright. So, why did I desperately want a pair of slime boots? Let me show you. This is, this has to be the most fun thing ever. That's why I wanted the slime boots. Ah, oh, look at that. Lapis nuggets. What pet did we get? Dirt pet. Turned cobble to dirt. Random attack and bonus on cobblestone. Favorite food YouTuber? I have no idea. But inventory pets are things that live in your inventory and they give you cool stuff. Team Craner, whatever that means. Yep, the blaze just sport. What is the Oh! What is that up there? If we ever get the power of flight, we'll have to go up and see. Uh, what can we get rid of? Let's... Um, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Melon seeds. I've got loads of melon seeds. I don't want melon seeds. Did we get another? No, we didn't. Yeah, nothing of interest. Let's take the snowballs. Let's take the chest because we can. I applaud Blaze. It just keeps popping in the into existence. And then, let's do this. Ready, three, two, one, woo! That is fun. What is that? Ouch. Really? Tiny cactus. Stone brick stairs. That's nether rack. Hmm. I wonder if this is some kind of spawner? I don't know. It's got glowstone and netherrack. I really don't want to find out right now. <laughs> really? That's it for this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe for more great content. It will help to grow my channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.